All right, as you can see, Jason is still working on the sea turtle. And I have to tell you that one of the biggest pieces of feedback we get from people when they see his work in person is just how bright the color is. Um, maybe, you know, it's used to seeing it digitally or whatever, but when they actually see one of his oil paintings, you know, right in front of them, they're like, wow, the color, I can't believe it. So Jay, can you tell us a little bit more about how you get that radiant color. Yeah, so it's not a talent, it is a choice. Uh, so I learned in school and through experience that when you add black to a color, it deadens it. And so a lot of people, they intuitively think if they're painting or they're using color and they want to make it darker, you just, you just add black to it or you add white to it to make it lighter. And the problem is, is when you add black to a color, it deadens it, takes the life out of it. So what I do is I use complementary colors. And so you may remember from art class or science class that complementary colors are purple and yellow, red and green are complements and blue and orange. And so like if in this case, when I'm uh, making yellow and I need to make it a little bit darker, I just add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of gray, uh, purple in there and that just darkens it up a little bit. If I were to add black to that, it would really deaden it. It would kind of be like a greenish, gross color, but I can add a little purple and it gives me a darker huh. yellow color and vice versa. If I want to lighten up the purple, I can add a little bit of uh, yellow to it. And I, I might still add white and whatnot, but the, the key is, is I, I don't want to add black because technically, scientifically, black is the absence of light. And so in, in my paintings, there's always light, even in the darkness, even in the dark times, it's just sort of like a metaphor for right now, there's always a little bit of light. And that's why I think people see light coming out of my paintings is because I don't, I don't add black. Now I do have a, a color I like to use, it's called uh, Payne's Gray. <laughs> and this is a very dark, desaturated, bluish gray color. So if I need something that looks a little, that like punches up the darkness a little bit more, I'll use this. I do have a black paint tube, but I don't hardly ever use it. Um, and so in this case, this is still has color in it. There's still light. And so that's, uh, I think that's why the, the painting sort of glow with color. Because I would never have known that. There's light in there. Yeah, very cool.